Thank you, Kevin. We welcome back a familiar face to the show a few <laughs> weeks ago. Greg Jones, owner of Sunset Corals, joined us to talk about a car cruise that you host. Yep. But today, you decided to bring along some of your friends. How's yeah. it going? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Yes, welcome. I'm doing great. Uh, you know, Sunset Corals, tell us all about what you do. Sure. We're uh, basically, we specialize in saltwater um, with saltwater, obviously, corals and uh, saltwater fish. And then we now we spread out to freshwater, plants, poison dart frogs. Oh boy, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. So talk yeah. about, oh, we'll go down the line here. First, yeah. we'll start with this famous sure. fish. Everyone knows a clownfish these oh, days, right? You gotta have, you gotta have Nemo. Yeah. So, but yeah, the, this is, uh, and this is actually two of, the, two of the we've had for a really long time in the shop, and uh, they're really, really cool fish. Yeah, well actually, I like this shot. We can record on this and save it as like a screensaver. It's yeah. very relaxing. <laughs> well, what do people need to know though, before they consider getting a, a, an exotic pet like this. So like with salt water, it's actually, it's, everyone thinks it's super difficult and it's so much easier now. It's uh, the, with the coral and everything, the technology we have, it's, it's not, you can do so many cool things easily. Um, the biggest thing with it is uh, having the right water and then just doing some water testing and you can have, you know, a little piece of the ocean in your house. Oh, there you go. He's swimming up toward the screen to say hi to everybody. <laughs> uh, now, what, what's up with the Venus flytrap here? So you we sell those too? Yeah, we have carnivorous plants. So there's a, a local supplier that uh, th that one there actually came off my deck. So believe it or not, you can leave them outside all summer long on your, as long as they get full uh, full sunlight. And uh, they do, uh, they just, they've been growing and thriving like crazy and uh, just something fun. Yeah, there's a close up of those. Yeah, yeah what's so, f I mean, first off, carnivorous plants are intriguing. Yeah. And it, I know you said they're not too hard to care for, but yeah. Uh, you ever seen catch anything? Oh yeah, there's actually, if you looked in there right now, there's, there's some bugs in there but, uh, that they've caught. But, and, and it's cool too, the pitcher plant, the taller one mm -hmm. that looks kind of like a bulb, those are North American. There's actually, some of those are native here to Michigan. Okay. Now, so. do these trap mosquitoes at all? Uh, anything, that, anything that'll land on them. Anything that'll yeah, fly in? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you brought another tank. First off, yeah. again, thanks for bringing in the tanks. I'm oh, sure yeah. this was a hard job for you. We've been trying to find them. They kind of blend in, but what did yeah. you bring in here? So in here, they're actually uh, dart frogs or, or, well, poison dart frogs. Um, so they're, uh, they're, the, the ones in here are actually called bumblebees, and they're, uh, they're, real, they're small, but they're bright orange with black lines on them. Uh, there was one stinging, kind of hanging over here in the corner, but yeah, you're I giving our director a challenge in the back. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I can, I can see by looking down into the tank. Too bad I don't have a GoPro or something. Yeah, but he's uh, in there. They have a little stage fright, I guess. It's okay. They'll, yeah, you'll keep searching in the back. You yeah. won't find him. He's but over here in the corner. The cool thing about these is they're another thing, super easy to take care of. And the benefit is you get all these tropical plants. So like you can grow all kinds of really cool house plants and in here and uh, plus you get to have the frogs. When is it a chance too, just to learn about different animals? Oh, for sure, 100%. And there's actually, this is an ecosystem. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's actually a little thing called springtails and there's isopods, which are kind of like roly poly bugs you find in your yard. Nice. And those are in there and they help keep the tank clean. We're looking at pictures of your store too. Yeah. You can find Sunset Corals on uh, North Bridge Street there in downtown London. There's the website as well. And uh, hey, thanks for some insight on these beautiful animals yeah. today. Thanks for having us out again. Yeah, good Enjoyed to see you.